All right, let's turn to San Jose now, where change could finally be coming for a piece of private property that has for years attracted drug dealing, homeless squatters, trash, even a pair of fires. This is at the corner of North 4th Street and East St. John in downtown San Jose, just a couple blocks away from City Hall. And now John Ramos reports the city has had enough and has taken its owner to court. It's been seven months since this property burned, and even before that, this prime piece of downtown San Jose real estate has been an eyesore. Neighbors have complained about it for years, and now the city has taken action to take control of it away from the owner. The property at the corner of 4th Street and St. John is along the route that Xander Smith takes to his classes at San Jose State. So I walk past this, this lot pretty much every day um, and see the debris and have wondered every day, you know, what happened. Just kind of seeing the debris and trash and everything around it, uh, it's, it's an eyesore for sure. The lot is actually four different addresses that have been fenced off for six years. There used to be a pair of empty Victorian homes on one end, but they both burned to the ground in March in a fire started by some homeless squatters. Brian Correa lives in a duplex right next to the lot where the houses burned. And it got lit on fire twice, actually. Twice? Yeah, so the, somebody burned the house down, and then somebody came back about a few months later, and they lit the rubble on fire. So that, was, that rubble was lit on fire twice because it wasn't picked up the first time. That's the kind of thing that neighbors have been living with and complaining to the city about for a long time. And Mayor Matt Mahan is also fed up. This property has, has been blighted and neglected for far too long. This is a case where there's a very appropriate legal pathway, which is the one we're pursuing. The city filed a lawsuit against the owner, a Saratoga man named Brent Lee, who controls a company with the obtuse name RPRO152N3. In the court filing, the city says the company, quote, was a mere shell and sham without capital or assets and was conceived, intended, and used by the alter ego owners as a device to avoid individual liability and for the purpose of substituting a financially insolvent entity in its place, end quote. In other words, the company has no money to sue for. So the court has granted San Jose's request to turn the property over to a receiver who will make all the decisions about cleanup and maintenance and put a lien on the land until the total bill is paid. After that's been done, the mayor says the city will have one more goal in mind. Finding a new owner who's going to actually not, not just maintain the property, but hopefully invest in it and turn it into some kind of use, you know, housing, jobs, something that actually benefits society. That's also something Xander has pondered as he walked to school. When you see constant construction going on downtown uh, and how fast some of these projects are being worked on, and then you see something like this, you kind of wonder what's the, you know, what takes the time frame on this longer than what people are doing just a block over. The city says it has gotten no response or cooperation from the owner over the years. Now, with the property falling under the sole control of the receiver, they no longer need it. A hearing is scheduled for tomorrow evening at City Hall to officially begin the process of forcing the cleanup of this site.